Welcome back to my channel. I'm NDL Jamer, and today we have a new code, so I'm making this clip. Today's gift code is IMYCSXWP. The reward is an SSR Pokemon, but it's not shiny. Looking at its stats, this Pokemon is a pretty strong tank, but since it's not shiny, I won't be using it. While I'm here, I'll review some of the UR Pokemon you have to pay real money for to see if they're worth your money. I'll also talk about a few things you should buy if you're playing for free during the mid-autumn event. Now, let's start by reviewing Shiny Pikachu Ash UR. This Pokemon is sold for $99.99, but is it really worth spending $100 on? First, let's take a look at its stats. It has incredibly high speed. Pikachu Ash should be played with a focus on Ak, while Raichu is more s -Ak oriented. Looking at its stats, it seems strong and might be able to carry the team. But let's check out its skills. Looking at the skill set, I don't see any particularly strong Ak based skills. There are two buff skills you should consider, Double Team and Thunder Wave. One helps you dodge and the other paralyzes your opponent, giving them a 25% chance of being unable to attack and reducing their speed by 50%. For attack moves, you can use Spark with 65 power or Iron Tail, which has high power but only 75 accuracy. I think if you're focusing on Ack, you'll need to purchase additional tech moves like Wild Charge or Play Rough. While Play Rough has only 90 accuracy, it's still powerful and can be used. In my opinion, it's a bit hard to build. The control skill only has a 25% chance of preventing the opponent from moving, so I don't think it's worth spending $100 on. Next up is Shiny Zekrom, a UR Pokemon priced at $400. Let's see if it's really worth it. First, let's check its stats. I see its total stats are quite high, reaching 748. This Pokemon has solid defense and both of its attack types are strong, especially Ak. However, to decide whether to build it around Ak or s -Ak, we need to look at its skills. Because like with Pikachu Ash that I analyzed earlier, even though its Ak is high, most of its strong skills are based on s -Ak. Looking at Zekrom's skill set, I see a lot of physical damage skills and they're all powerful so you can build it focused entirely on Ack. For buff skills, there's only one, and I think you should pick it as it helps reduce the damage you take. The attack skills I would choose are Slash, which increases your crit rate or hit rate. Either is fine. Bolt Strike deals massive damage and can paralyze the opponent, the spouse, while Fusion Bolt has high damage and excellent accuracy. These skills seem quite strong. There are other skills, so if you buy it, you can explore those yourself, as I don't have the money to buy these Pokemon. In my opinion, it's strong, but it costs a lot of money. If you like it, you can buy it, but keep in mind that both Zekrom and Pikachu Ash cannot be caught anywhere, so if you want to upgrade their stars, you'll have to buy shards. All right, now it's time to review the $1,500 Pokemon, Shiny Ultra Necrozma. Just by glancing at its stats, I can already tell that this game has become pay to win. It's way too strong compared to any normal Pokemon. Both its Akik and Essak stats are insanely high at 201 points, with a total stat score of 900. Its speed is also high, though slightly slower than Pikachu Ash, but still incredibly powerful. Let's take a look at its skills. I can see that all of its skills are good. For buff skills, I suggest choosing a healing skill along with Autotomize to increase speed or Stealth Rock, which scatters rocks on the battlefield, causing opponents to lose a lot of HP when they appear. For attack skills, if you're focusing on Ack, you can use Slash and Sunsteel Strike for high damage. If you want to play around s -Ack, you can choose Photon Geyser, Moongeist Beam, and Prismatic Laser. However, keep in mind that Prismatic Laser requires waiting until the second turn to attack, so you'll need to be careful as you might get knocked out or put to sleep before you can strike your opponent. This review is based on the stats and skills alone, but these Pokemon also have abilities that I can't check, so the accuracy may not be perfect. Additionally, you don't directly buy these Pokemon, you just need to top up money in the game and you'll get them. 
Then, with the in-game currency, you can purchase anything else you want. Now onto the mid-autumn event. I know that for those of you playing for free, it's hard to collect a lot of these blue diamonds, and I'm not sure if they'll be reused in future events. This is the first time they've appeared in an event, so I'll give you advice on which items you should exchange for in the exchange section. For items priced over 1k diamonds, they're too expensive, so I won't cover those. If you're wealthy, you can buy anything since everything seems worth it. Now, I'll focus on reviewing items for free-to-play players and those who get lucky, as it'll take quite a bit of luck to even collect 1k diamonds. First off, let's talk about gold. Gold is extremely easy to get in this game, so it's best not to waste your diamonds on exchanging for gold. It's not worth it at all. Second is candy, which is also something you can earn easily every day, so I wouldn't recommend buying that either. Next is the Safari Ticket. If you buy it with gems, it costs 500 gems. Personally, I rarely go into the Safari Zone to catch Pokemon, so I wouldn't buy it. I prefer catching Pokemon on the map. Then we have the Egg Ticket, which is overpriced. It's cheaper in the shop, but no one really goes out of their way to buy it, since you can earn it daily anyway. Next is the Mega Shard, which is quite expensive, but it's also hard to get outside of events, so if you really need it, this is one item you might want to buy. As for the Terra Style Shard O Gift, I would skip it. It's random, so you don't get to choose what you need. Terra Style Shards are fairly easy to get anyway. Now for the Silver Lure Bottle, this is incredibly rare, so you should definitely buy it because outside of the event, you won't be able to find it anywhere. It's essential for hunting shiny Pokemon. The SSR held O Gift seems decent since you can choose what you need. However, it's pricey, so you'll need to be pretty lucky to afford it. And if you're even luckier, you could buy the UR Heldo gift. In conclusion, the Silver Lure Bottle is the best item to buy. But if you're feeling risky and want to save your diamonds to see if they'll be useful in a future event, you can hold on to them instead. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get new codes and redeem them as soon as possible since codes usually expire within one or two days. I hope you all have a great time playing the game. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll gather them and answer for you. If I can respond in text, I'll reply directly. And for answers requiring images, I'll make a video. Once again, thank you.